How you guys doing? John, Indoor Hydroponics, Outdoor Organics. Welcome back, looking at a video from two weeks ago. This is the fourth time I've tried to narrate this video. I don't like long videos, because I have to narrate them in one shot, and it's not easy. So, the last video, I was like, you people, you people, you people, and I was like, why am I saying that? Why am I saying that? Anyway, here I am sexting my plants uh, at around two weeks ago. I've got two 25-gallon pots going of cucumber vines, three vines per pot. Variety is Dasher 2. I like those. I've grown them in the past. Really productive. Slicer-type cucumber. Um, I, I, I enjoy them. So, but if you've never tried them, uh, try that variety. Um, what I don't have are any goddamn bees this year, and I don't know where they're at. Uh, I don't spray ever in my garden. I have put flowers up in different types of attractants to the garden just to try to bring them there, but I'm I'm just not seeing them. So I I don't know where the bees have gone, but they're they're not there. So I have to take my little paintbrush and go between male and female flower like a knuckle face. Uh, it's a big pain in the ass. Nonetheless, I do it because, you know, I kind of want, like, non-deformed um, cucumbers. But what I was noticing a couple weeks back is the, the, the flower production. And you're looking at the flower production of uh, one of the pots that I have been experimenting with, along with a couple of other plants, and we'll get to, get to that later, of using a, a product called Fish Hydrolysate. And lo and behold, here we are four weeks ago, which is two weeks before the previous video of me pollinating, um, of a, a product down to earth. It's, they call it fish powder. It's more aptly fish hydrolysate. It's 1211. Um, essentially, what fish hydrolysate is um, is all the byproduct from the fishing industry the head, the guts, the leftover meat, the tail, the fins. All that good stuff goes into some sort of a vat. They uh, provide uh, it some organic type enzymes to it, let it sit. I don't know what else they do with it, but wh what happens is, is it separates the proteins from the junk uh, that's left over. Um, they get that they they get that protein, then they dehydrate it. And what you have here is the end product, which is water soluble fish protein or hydrolysate and it's plant available right out of the bag um which means the plant can take it in immediately it doesn't got to be broke down or or any of that business so a couple of tablespoons of that and a two gallon water watering can agitated really well um and applied directly to the leaves i would say it's foliar foliar fuller feed what i can never pronounce the word so just get your leaves wet <laughs> That's what I did anyway. So I, I've tested it out on some tomato plants and um, and, and my cucumber pots. Uh, the reason I, I wanted to give it a shot is because I was listening to the Boogie Brew guy on another YouTube channel, and and he said if he was given two or he was asked if he was given two options of uh, between his compost tea. Or a product he also sells, which is pure protein, which is a fish hydrolysate. It's a little bit stronger than this one. I think it's like a 15-1-1. What would he use if he only had two products? And shockingly enough, he chose the pure protein. I thought I found that fascinating given the fact that he makes his living selling boogie brew compost tea. So if he's going to choose that over his own product uh, that, that, that I guess he's famous for, um, I would want to try that to see what the results would be. And again, um, we're back to two weeks ago here. You see me apply this stuff. Um, I, I, again, two 25 gallon pots, one tested, one without. And I, I noticed right out the get, um, at least from the day after the first and second application, cause I applied it twice. Um, the leaves are noticeably sh greener and, and shinier the next day um, as compared to the to the control plant now it says in the bag to apply that stuff in the morning and or evening and not during the hot sun I personally don't think it's strong enough to burn the plant 
I think it's more of a neighbor friendly type of thing because I gotta warn you guys out of the bag that stuff smells exactly the way you think it's pretty strong man it smells like a giant fish um, and, and not a relatively good one and you'll notice the next day that it will bring in the flies to that plant I wish flies were pollinators but they're not um, so if, if you don't want to you know I wouldn't apply that during the heat of the day. I'm sure your neighbors don't want to smell that stuff because you're going to hear about it. I'm, <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Um, nonetheless, the stuff works. Um, I, I, I noticed growth uh, on the plants from about a week ago. You can already see on the right plant um, that it is bigger. Uh, and it's greener and the leaves are bigger. But more importantly, the flowers that were put on after the first and second application was just stunning here we are present day uh the day before the fourth of july so four weeks from plan out i've got 48 inch cages in these pots with 72 inch bamboo stakes uh the pot on the right that's had the fish draw say with all the production is already to, uh, to the top of the 72 inch uh, bamboo stakes so that is fast growth and I, I'm pulling out some of the cucumbers that I pollinated that are ready, uh, which, you know, four weeks from plan out, uh, getting full-size cucumbers, that's pretty, that's pretty quick. I, I did get one from the control plant and then two from, from the other plant, but I will shoot a follow-up video to this to show you the other fruits that are setting right now. It is, again, quadruple to the control i did test out a couple of other plants here's a shot from a couple weeks back about one week after i applied the fish hydrolysate to four egg or well to three egg plants this is unbelievably a noticeable difference these three applied with fish hydrolysate and that one is not that's a stunning difference so i Again, I've played with fish hydrolysates in the past and compost heat applied direct to the soil. Whenever I would get a free sample of fresh fish hydrolysate from the head shop where I get my hydroponic stuff, I would keep it. I'd put it in as an additive to a good vermi tea and apply it direct to the soil. But this is the first time I'm applying it direct to the plant leaves and I am blown away with it to this point, okay? I would apply it in the early vegetative state of the plants to give them a boost or a jump start. I don't know if I'd apply it to adult plants because then you're just going to grow more uh, vegetation than fruit, I think. I don't know. Um, that's just my speculation. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking it out to the end. I'm seeing some big benefits uh, with fish hydrolysis. So, that's been my experience, and that's the beauty youtube is sharing our experiences so thanks for watching and 